What's up guys? We're back with another video. If this is your first time tuning into the YouTube channel for a property tour, my name is Brandon. I am your favorite Texas realtor and relocation specialist. Today we are at 603 Lexington Lane. It is a brand new 2023 build by Cope Homes. It is their Liberty floor plan. We are actually right next to their model home. What we are looking at today is actually a completed model that is currently for sale. By the grace of God, guys, we have a tremendous opportunity and partnership with Cope Homes where they have given us many homes to list. So Lord willing guys, and with the right direction, we will be able to sell these homes and find the right families for them. This home is going to be currently listed at $894,000. It is sitting on one acre of land. It is a four bedroom, four and a half bath with an office space, two media rooms upstairs, and it is absolutely gorgeous. If you guys are interested in building from scratch, we are only 20 minutes away from Rockwall and 15 minutes away from the city. So all of your shopping, dining, lake access is going to be very close by at a great price point. Homes in this community are going to be starting at the mid $500,000 price range. Lot premiums will be a factor to consider, but if you guys are looking for a decent amount of land, looking to build from scratch with a custom farmhouse style builder, then Cope Homes might be that builder for you guys. Definitely would love to get you connected with them so we can schedule a consultation. Or if you are interested in touring this specific home, feel free to hit me up via all of the information in the description below. I always leave my contact information down there before we get into the actual house, guys. If you like seeing property tours just like this, please consider dropping a thumbs up on the video as well as subscribing to the YouTube channel as it really does help out tremendously with the YouTube algorithm and it is greatly appreciated. Beautiful entryway when we get in here, my friends, with the staircase headed up to your second deck. And like I said, guys, all glory to the Lord because this is a tremendous opportunity that just kind of came out of nowhere. Uh, our team was contacted by the builder and we are definitely looking to make the most of these opportunities. Definitely showing all appreciation to the man upstairs because we're ready guys. We're ready for this. And like I said, hopefully Lord willing with the right direction, we will be able to help many families move into these properties because a huge request that we get from our out of state buyers, especially is going to be land. And unfortunately, with a lot of people looking into the more highly coveted areas of Rockwall, Roy City, Salina up north, Prosper, Frisco, of course, the only caveat is going to be that because these areas are in such high demand, the lot sizes are going to be getting smaller and smaller. So that is definitely something that we are paying the price for. So it's give and take, guys. It's gonna be very hard to get everything you want, but out here, this builder is a custom builder and they do have plenty of opportunities to build from scratch. Right now we are at the Lexington Heights community. They do have one other community right next door where even if you don't necessarily wanna build with this builder, they are allowing that you can purchase the land and you don't have to develop it or you can go with your own builder, which is very nice. No HOA out here in this community either. We are in a pretty secluded area, but again, only 15 minutes away from everything you could need in terms of city life. So, and Roy City, it is the next, Roy City Rockwall, it is the next booming, prospering area out here in the Dallas-Fort Worth market as prices north of the Metroplex are just getting ridiculous. They're getting straight out of hand and it's insane to see. Beautiful great room, segueing into your kitchen with a little tucked away space here for your dining, eating breakfast. Look at all the natural light flooding into this house and you can just get a feel. We'll head into the backyard at the end of the property tour, but beautiful day outside, very quiet out here. We're not next to any major busy roads. We are below the state average in terms of crime as well as national average in terms of crime in the area that we are currently located in. We are located only minutes away from a middle school and high school. So 
definitely a great environment to be around if you are a family and have kids and we are hosting an open house today so you'll see that we are all set up got the sign-in sheet actually i need to drop this off have the sign-in sheet right there folders with our information got the business cards on deck waters and cookies and banana nut bread guy or banana nut bread i love some banana nut bread but this kitchen is absolutely beautiful guys standard kitchen aid appliances you got the two ovens kitchen up top or the microwave up top and just check out the backsplash with the dark navy almost gray cabinetry with the white countertops i think this is absolutely gorgeous they did a fantastic job with the selection and design of this home and this is one of their two model homes it is their liberty floor plan i will link all of the information to the builder in the description below beautiful and i'm actually kind of a history nerd guys <laughs> and most of these floor plans are named after presidents or after uh historical united states uh or their surrounding united states historical context their floor plan right next to us is called the rushmore they have the washington uh yeah so definitely pretty cool <laughs> My team didn't really catch on to that, but I'm a huge history nerd. So after we had a meeting with the builder, I was like, dang, this is pretty cool. And they didn't even notice that. Have a cool mudroom right here. Going into your four car garage. Tons of space out here for parking and the driveway itself is massive. So that is very nice as well. Like I said, guys, this is a model. So right now they currently have all of the tools and everything that they use until this house goes up for sale or until it gets purchased. Sorry, it is actually for sale. Here we have a cool kind of dry bar, lots of storage, tons of storage actually. This home is absolutely beautiful. It is about 4,535 square feet. I will have all of that information listed at the beginning of the video. And then all the selection for the cabinets that they chose in all the bathrooms is just beautiful. So simple, but elegant at the same time. With these farmhouse style homes, I feel like the common consensus for individuals looking for these types, types of homes is they don't want anything too over the top. They want something a little bit quieter in terms of location as well as feel for the house. And something that does maintain that farmhouse style. Like these are considered a little bit more modern, but it is still carrying a sense of it being a farmhouse, which is really nice because a lot of these builders that quote themselves as being farmhouse styled, they definitely go a little bit over the top in terms of the design. Now check out this master bath guys, just the chef's kiss on this master suite, beautiful cabinets. Great ambient lighting all throughout. Make sure to turn on all the lights in here so you can just kind of get a sample for it. Black and white all over. Basically the colors I'm wearing today. So if you guys can't tell, I love the black and white. Beautiful standalone soaking tub with the stained glass. So you won't be getting anyone looking in. And you can kind of get a visual, even though we're not looking directly out there because the glass is stained. There is a little bit of separation and distance between you and your neighbors, which is really, really nice. One of the biggest drawbacks, guys, and criticisms that we get as realtors when dealing with clients, especially from out of state, is the lack of land. So this house pretty much has all of it. Even on their smallest floor plans out here, guys, they're at least going to be on an acre of land. So even if you're looking to build one of their 2,500 square foot floor plans on the smaller side in terms of space in, in the house, you do get that separation from your neighbors as well, which is really really great right now this builder is offering a great incentive for qualified buyers of course just giving that little disclaimer they are offering a 4.99 percent interest rate as well as or uh it's either 4.99 percent or thirty thousand dollars up to thirty thousand additionally off the sales price of the house so that is really nice that you have those options available to you if you are looking to purchase and that kind of leads me into 
a good point of discussion is a lot of buyers, they think because right now the interest rates are pretty high uh, that it's not a, the correct time to buy or maybe they should wait a little bit longer. Guys, you can always look to refinance in the future. But right now, some of these deals that builders and sales or uh, sellers are throwing your way is just ridiculous. Some of these builders are offering 2% rate buy downs. I've seen interest rates as low as 4% in this market. So you definitely have a lot more leverage. And that is why it is always recommended and important to get with a realtor that has these relationships built up and knows the market because they can definitely go to battle for you on your side, whomever that person may be. So definitely inquire with your realtor if you are currently working with one, or if you are thinking of moving to the Dallas-Fort Worth area and are open to having a consultation, I am more than happy to oblige. I will leave all my contact info in the description below, but definitely get with your realtor if you are working with one already about your power in today's market, because there is a lot of room for negotiation. A lot of these builders, built too much inventory and as the market slowed down they have a lot of inventory that's sitting and basically what happened is during covid time a lot of people were buying homes without even checking out the site in person because that's how great the prices and interest rates were because it was real estate is always an appreciating investment it is the safest investment that you can possibly make in your life but at that time, guys, it was almost surefire that you're going to see a nice ROI. So people were buying without even checking out the home sites, which is unheard of in today's market. And now the interest rates have started to climb and prices have started to climb. We are finding new ways to maneuver the market and to navigate things for our clients. Up here on our second deck, guys, we already checked out one of the bedrooms, but we are in one of our uh, two loft spaces, recess lighting all up here. The ceilings are a little bit shorter. They are gonna be about seven feet tall. So definitely a little bit more, um, definitely a little bit cozier up here. This would be used for what I'm assuming would be a movie room. It'd be really cool to get some blackout curtains in here, completely black this room out at night when you're here on the weekends, like today. Absolutely beautiful house, guys. Let me know what you guys are thinking of the home in the comments down below. And you can get a feel for the neighborhood right now. So all of that space across is just completely undeveloped, of course. And at the back end of the neighborhood, they have tons of inventory available. And this is a prime example, guys, where the builder during that time, they were just building homes like crazy without giving it a second thought. And then once the market started to slow down, a lot of these builders already had a lot of development coming so they couldn't just stop the construction of the homes in the middle of a project i hope that makes sense checking out our final bedroom in this house absolutely love these homes they did such a great job with them wow and then i love this jack and jill bathroom a double vanity so each kid gets her own sink and then each bathroom having a level of uniformity is really nice like i said guys for these farmhouse style homes it seems to be that most people that are in the market for this kind of style don't want anything too loud or obnoxious or over the top they just want a little bit more minimalistic and simple which is definitely what draws people out to the country life awesome thank you guys for sticking along throughout this property tour if you guys did enjoy the tour or enjoy the house and you want to see more content just like this please consider subscribing to the youtube channel as i upload pretty frequently I try to be a little bit more consistent but it's a little bit hard being a realtor i am on a team and we don't have too many individuals on our team guys so uh, I guess a little disclaimer, if you do contact me and I don't get back to you right away, I always try to get back to you as soon as I possibly can, but I get a lot of inquiries on Instagram, guys. Praise to the Lord, because in under a year, we have been able to grow my Instagram to almost 180,000 people, so 
that is amazing and i feel so blessed about having that opportunity guys but just get a feel for how quiet it is out here it's just so silent beautiful not a cloud in the sky and this can be yours guys where you can build from scratch here starting in the mid 500 thousands so if you guys are looking to build from scratch hit me up or if you're looking to tour this home in particular or you want to see what our other listings are about you can hit me up as well and i am more than happy to provide information on that but don't want to make this too long guys if you made it to this point i really appreciate you so much you might as well subscribe drop a thumbs up if you're here <laughs> and i hope to see you guys in the next one god bless